As a practicing engineer and a professor at the University of Illinois in the School of Architecture, I teach third year students about structures and I want them to know more um, than just structures. I want them to know about structures and architecture. So we do the structural stuff. We talk about strength, stability, and stiffness, stress, equilibrium, deformation. Um, at the same time, I want them to know that building structure is an important part of architectural design. And so we need to consider building structure in how we frame our buildings and it's, it's a part of the architect's toolkit. Um, I approached using a metal building project f um, to introduce some concepts into, into my structures class and so what I did is I um, wrote a project that allowed students to use their imagination, their design imagination, and, and also look at building structure at the same time. And so what I asked the students to do was to create a project um, from scratch with their, with their own ideas about um, creating a new architectural design studio. At the same time of learning and rearranging the spaces and making it spaces that you want it to be in, you needed to understand what the building system, building structural system was. And the metal building project was really great for this because it was the scale of the, of, the, of the design that I asked them to do and the scale of the structure. So we could, I could have the students understand that there is a system of parts of a metal building and what, understand what those parts are and start to put those together and work with the design of the project. Um, the project was successful for my class for a couple of reasons. Um, it allowed um, students to understand what a building, what, the, what this building system was. We took a field trip and we, our students got to meet the people that made these buildings. They got to tour a factory and see what the size of these members were. And then they got to interact with um, professionals from the industry. And so they had a very positive relationship with structural engineers very early on in their career where they could ask any questions that they wanted and get feedback that they could then put into their project. Um, additionally, the students um, were understanding why we were doing all these calculations in the structures course. Why are we doing stress, stress calculations? Why do we need to know how things move? And then they were able to take that and incorporate that into their design project for my class. But several students said, oh, I get this. I should be incorporating this in all of my designs. And so that was a, uh, for me, that was a really great success story. It was something that they took from my class, but then knew it was part of what they needed to do as an architect. So there are several things that I would change uh, in future classes, and some of them are just purely logistics. Uh, the field trip was great, but I think that I would do that just a little bit later after we had more time to think about it um, in the classroom. So the students would be able to, to realize what they had been drawing on their piece of paper, right? And so they were able to see this, these very large pieces of steel once they tried to figure out what they were for themselves. Um, there's some logistical things I would, um, they wanted more quizzes. The students actually asked for more quizzes, so I would put more quizzes in. Um, one of the, the other things is they wanted more resources, and that's actually what we're working on now, is to give them some more basic information and some extra projects to look at to help them do their own projects. Um, I think architecture students would benefit from learning about metal buildings because it is, it is a building system that is prevalent in society today. By building um, 30,000 new buildings a year with this system, um, students should know that this exists. Traditionally, students learn about different material systems and structural systems um, through their construction class um, and, and sometimes their structures course, but not necessarily metal buildings. And so this, this system is being used every day across the country and it is, it is something that architects and architecture students and future architects should know as, as uh, to have something to help them make what they want and to help their client build, build their building they need for their needs. So this has been a really fabulous experience for me and my students with working with MBMA. And the reason uh, I think other architecture professors, and particularly those who teach building technology, would be interested in, in this relationship is that it's a real life experience for the students. Um, 
opportunities to go see the manufacturing plants, opportunities to see buildings on site, opportunities to have engineers come in and talk to their students about this is remarkable. Right? The, the MBAMA has been so generous with their resources in, in allowing our students to learn these systems that it allows architecture students in, uh, in to see something that they haven't ordinarily. Also, it's, it's a prevalent type of construction system and I, I think there are real opportunities for architects and engineers to work on the system together for, for um, growing potential relationships. When I started this project, I only had a cursory idea of what metal buildings were. Um, and in my particular part of the country, which is a, a university in the middle of farm country, we think of them as farm buildings. But after interacting with, with people in the organization, going to field trips, seeing sites, understanding um, some of the projects that have built before, I realized that metal buildings are uh, around us all of the time and we just need to stop and take a look at them and understand the contribution that metal building makes into how we live our daily lives. Um, one thing that I would like to add, I suppose, is that I feel like this is an untapped relationship from both sides. I think architects need to know a lot more about metal buildings, but at the same time, I think architectural design is significant in, in creating the buildings that we love. And so I think there's a really good relationship for architects to have a positive impact on, on the way uh, middle buildings are shaped and, and are formed, right? And so I think, I think this is a, a, a beginning of a great relationship because metal buildings, um, <clears throat> you know, they use less resources, they're quick to site, they give the owner what they want very quickly. Um, and sometimes that's utilitarian, that's fine, but sometimes it needs to be beautiful. And so um, I think architects could step in and help with that, certainly. Learn more at mbma.com and visit our YouTube channel at mbma media to hear more from industry leaders.